Dr. Bailey speaking. What? Sent home? What are you talking about? I was just granted permission to perform five xenograft operations. You sent a prime candidate home to die without giving him a second chance? How dare you? How dare you? Give me your contact information right now. I'm assuming through my fingers. I can't. It's incompetence. I can't handle this. I can't. Faye's mother and I are currently separated. But I came here to support her. And because I had to sign the paperwork. Dr. Bailey is a miracle worker. He told us he could save Faye. And he's even going to do the operation for free. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. He showed us how the procedure would work. And I mean, it looked a little strange at first, but he's the doctor, right? He was very convincing this is the only way we could save Faye. Yeah, he's the only way. He's performed over 100 cross-species transplants before. That's like a regular expert. Do you remember him saying he's done human operations before? I'm, I'm sure he has. I mean, he's a surgeon after all. Uh, don't worry about it. He said Faye would be fine. That's the most important thing. I just can't wait for her to be a normal child. It's so hard to watch her having to breathe on the ventilator. Respirator. Respirator. Finally have a human candidate for my research. It'll put Loma Linda on the map. And you know, I think xenography will be a soon to be staple for surgery in the coming years. And the best part about this is they were so compliant. I didn't have to try to convince them. They were so nice too. I was just, you know, thinking that this opportunity for seven excruciating years appeared on my doorstep. Wow. Oh, we're talking about heart surgery? Well, I haven't done that before. This should be good practice. We'll be all right. 